Number 20, the Rebbe's own words. Sivitzanisa chapter number 3. Nine precious rectifications were transmitted to the beer. The more something is hidden and concealed, and the more sublime and precious it is found to be. One of the beard is a precious treasure. There are hairs upon hairs from in front of the orifices of the ears to the tips of one of the mouth and from the side of the mouth to the other side. Found below the knot, two nostrils is a path that is filled and a hunting. The sides of the face are covered all over and protruding our cheekbones as red as a nose. In one strand, tough black hairs hang down to the chest and the visible lips are as a red as a nose. Small hairs come down the throat and cover the nape. Long hairs and short ones come together. With these, he is found to be mighty and strong. Number one, know there is a soul in the world through which are revealed commentaries and on and inter- and interpretations of the Torah. But the soul endures suffering. It eats bread with salt and drinks water in a measure. For this is the way of the Torah. Oh, for this is the way of the. Oh, for this is the way of the Torah. And now the Torah commentators receive from the soul the words of the soul are like fiery coals, for it is impossible to receive it and drown the waters of Torah, except from someone whose words are like fiery coals, as in my indeed my word is like fire. But when this soul falls from the level of indeed, my words are is like fire. My word is like fire, and its words. Words are not like fire, it calls, but are cooled off, it then dies, and when it dies, the Torah commentators that were drawn by it also disappear, and then other Torah commentators have no way of attaining any commentary, yeah, the Torah descent. Is then aroused the heavens, the Sadiqim Nanach Nachmu, Nachman Me Yuman. For the main cause of descent in the world is the absence, is the absence of Torah commentary, sense commentary, answers questions and disputes. Since commentary answers questions and disputes, this is alluded to in Midbar Singin, a Debra Mitzun, Debra Meyetsunan. I did Mitsunan speech that has been cooled off. Miriam representing the soul that endures the Marius or the Marius or bitterness of bondage for the sake of the Torah de- died in Midbar, the wilderness of sin, which caused the well, well which represents Torah commentaries to disappear. Then the people argue with Moses, which was this was the descent that that was. That was aroused as a result for this reason. The Torah commentators are called Mo'yirim, for they receive from the soul that is called Walt Miriam, but of Abbasal because they Mo'yirim. Mo'yirim teach their teachers as in from my students. I learn more than from all of my teachers and colleagues. For this reason, Moses said to the people, Listen here, you Mo'yirim. Number two, now, whoever wants to drop Torah commentaries must first draw upon himself words as hot as fiery coal. Which is drawn from the spernal heart As a and so former of my art One must pour out one speech And pray yeah, before God Causing God's mercies to overflow Oh, opening up the, super, the supernal heart For mercy is mainly in the heart Words then flow from the, from the supernal heart And and with these word, word, words are drawn title commentaries from there as well. Then yes, art corresponds to cell. This art corresponds to cell the source of speech as in Oi, oh, this heart corresponds to cello, the source of speech as a yen yen, words are for a cello, a coin, and yen cello is its own war rock, as any open a sewer and waters flowed forth, which represents the heart, as in sore of my heart, the heart becomes roused with mercy, and gives forth passion, it words, as in my heart was impassioned within me, as I, spo- as I spoke, a fire burnt, and I spoke with my tongue, all Torah commentaries are written in this heart, as in write them on the tablet of your heart, anyone wanting to reach some explanation must take it from this heart in prayer and supplication for this reason before any Torah commentators begin any Torah commentators begins to present any commentary he must first pour out his prayer before God in order to arouse the supernal heart to shower upon him words like fiery coals only then can one begin a commentary for only then is the rock opened and waters Torah commentaries all flow will forth number three and there is a 
difference between a commentary that one keeps for oneself and a commentary that one presents to an audience when one speaks before an audience and first binds oneself with their souls pouring out his words and prayers before God certainly God will not loathe the many but the prayer of the individual may be loathed this is alluded to him speak to the rock before their eyes meaning that your prayer should be when they are gathered together as in gather the people number four this is the difference between one who studies from a book and one who hears directly from the scholar for the soul of one who hears directly from the scholar certainly becomes bound with the soul of the scholar when he prays and has said this person thus a portion to this commentary for the prayer increases holiness above and any prayer coming from many souls increases holiness increases holiness and arouses the supernal hearts that much more the supernal heart then pours forth the waters of common Commentary that much more. The more people, the, pro, the, the proportionately, the proportionately more the holiness. This is alluded to in the verse. You who sit upon the praises of Israel are holy. The holiness is increased. Oh, you who sit upon the praises of Israel, of oh, oh, our holy, the holiness is increased in proportion to Israel's praises. Furthermore, whoa, 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 whoa. the evil of all the people present during the lab lecture is subdued by, is subdued, is subdued by way of the good of the scholar who is lecturing, and in proportion to this is to this subjection so are the enemies subdued that is the clepis that surround the supernal heart as in this Jerusalem I have set in amidst peoples Jerusalem representing the heart as in speak to the heart of Jerusalem this represents a staff regarding which God told Moses take the staff and gather the people take the staff and gather the people a staff represents the dominion and power of the tzaddik man is attained by his service which subdues all enemies above and below this, allu- this is alluded to in yeah, 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 yeah. the staff of your might will God save it from a womb see on that is the woman it's fist and good deeds are seeing him symbols of supernal Concepts that give rise to the staff of might to subdue enemies as the verse concludes subdue your enemies Hence the evil of whoever is with the, scho- the scholar during Torah commentary he, 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 he is subdued. This is pour out your heart before God's countenance like water God's countenance refer- refers to Torah commentaries Ever then this cover says is in honor the countenance of a Zulk and an elder Zulk and beard is the countenance of the face which represents the 13 rectifications of the beard oh, which represent the 30 principles by which the title may be interpreted the verse thus means that one must pour out one's words and prayer before drawing Torah commentaries. This is Moses and Aaron, Moses and Aaron fell on their faces when they heard the this and they realized that because Torah commentaries face countless had fallen, therefore the sent had broken out. Number five. Oh, when one prays before a lecture, one must pray with supplication, begging God for gratis, beg, begging God for a free gift, begging God for gratis, rather than asking for one's due. And the one staff has now been aroused, aroused on account of one servant. And though one staff has now been aroused on account of one's service, this staff is not for one to take pride in, but only to subdue the evil of the congregation. For in a community, there are inevitably, there inevitably are good ones and evil ones, and the evil of the evil ones must be subdued. So before God, one must stand like a pauper and a beggar, speaking in a supplicating voice rather than asking in any merit of one's own. This is alluded to, I beseech God at that time, saying that he is, one must beseech God at that time when one wants to say something that is before a lecture this was Moses' mistake God had told Moses take the staff and gather the people and then speak to the rock in the presence Moses was meant to take his dominion Moses Oh, Moses was meant to take his dominion of of my that he had earned from, mitz- from his mitzvahs and good deeds and gather the people. For when people are gathered, there are evil ones among them, and the staff of might is meant to subdue, to subdue their evil. Then speak to the rock in their presence. The Hebrew word for speak means softly speak to the rock in their presence. Thus means to speak beseechingly, pouring out one's words and prayers, supplication like a pauper and a beggar to the rock refers to the supernal heart as said, and in their presence means that this should be done specifically. 
specifically in the presence of the congregation so that one binds oneself with their souls. But Moses did not do this. He rather cited his own goodness and righteousness during his prayer, not using the staff for the congregation, but using it for his prayer. This is Moses lifted his hand. His hand refers to his prayer as in his hands were faithful, translated in the Targum as his hands were spread in prayer. Thus Moses lifted his prayer rather than bind himself with the congregation. He struck the rock twice as in he struck the rock and water flowed, flowed forth, meaning that he struck the supernal heart as one who grabbed something forcefully and without consent for he sought in the power oh, of his good deeds. Oh, this is striking the rock twice. The first strike was taking to the commentaries forcefully and without consent. Oh, rather than asking for gratis for free gifts, this uh, second strike was because whoever tries to pressure the time, the time pressures him, hey, yeah, yeah, causing one to die before one's time. The shina which is the heart, then bewails one's passing and weeps over him. Hey, yeah, yeah, the yeah, yes is twice for both Moses and Aroi died on account of the strike king. As the verse says, these were the waters of strife for this reason. One should never pressure oneself for anything, but beg with supplication if God grants it good and if not not this is because you did not believe in me this refers to prayer as said that Moses lifted his prayer above the prayer of the congregation and did not bind himself with them prayer is represented by faith as in his hands were faithful the verse continues to sanctify me in the eyes of the Israelites to sanctify me for God's name sanctify by the prayer of the congregation therefore you shall not bring to the land alluding to his death for holiness is increased above with the demise of its tzaddik as is known and, and what Moses and Aaron did not accomplish with their deed was accomplished by their deaths. Number six, in merit of the Torah that is drawn, one attains the land of Israel as and he gave them the lands of nations. Oh, but the land of Israel is one of the three things that can only be attained through suffering and the main suffering is the obstacles of the wicked who slander the land. These wicked must first be subdued and punished with a sword and death and only then can one enter the land of Israel or ever the power to punish the wicked can only be acquired from the power of Edom for that is his power as in you will live by your sword and he draws sustenance from the astrological sign of the Mars. Number seven, but know this spiritual force is created by the letters of the Torah that one originates. And these forces are angels. Literally, he received the power of Edoim. To punish the wicked with the sword of death, they are recreated as in God gives the word. He, the heralds are a great legion and they punish the wicked as in for he will instruct his angels on your behalf and you will tread upon a lion and a viper number eight these spiritual forces these angels are a Pro are proportionate to the new insights in the Torah, and the new insights in the Torah are proportionate to the increase of holiness above the amount that Torah is increased, is proportionate to the amount that, that holiness is increased, and the increase of angels is proportionate to the amount that the Torah was increased. To the opposite is also true, that is, sometimes holiness is so minimal that the angels created by the novel, novel Torah teachings are weak, and that the strength to punish the wicked with a sword and death, they only have the power to subdue the wicked and to in intimidate them, but not to punish them with a sword to eliminate them of night, and sometimes these angels lack the strength to even sub just subdue them, since they are so weak because, hol because holiness is such a trifle their only power is then to rouse the power of the nations against the wicked who slander the land, as today in exile, when we lack the power to punish the wicked by ourselves, but only through their legal system, as in a wicked person surrounds the the tzaddik, therefore justice comes out crooked, this is because the wicked person surrounds the tzaddik not a not from human, and only will we have to get rid of him is through their legal system to have him judged in their courts and to receive from them the power to pursue the wicked but no sometimes God causes the wicked person to surround the tzaddik and the only way that tzaddik can deflect the wicked one is through their legal system by way of this power of justice the only justice that had fallen among the klipas is released the tzaddik draws it out draws it out of the klipas Yes. And justice emerges from its crookedness For it had become distorted among the Klippis and It did not teach them judgments now Though 
Justice emerges from its crookedness and is straightened out. This is therefore justice comes out of having been crooked. Number ten, and sometimes they don't even have this power. They cannot punish. They cannot punish even in their legal system, and they cannot even intimidate them. The only power they possess is to silence them from speaking evil in our presence, so that their words do not enter the ears of the masses. And sometimes even this power they lack, all according to the degree of holiness is lacking. All according to the degree of holiness that is lacking. The yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a Mo Moses and messengers, literally angels, the king of Adam, angels and Adam are meant in the above context. Thus says your brother Israel, that is these angels, came into being from the few sayings of Israel as in God gives the word. The, her the heralds are a great legion. You know the travail that has befallen us and our ancestors, and our ancestors and our ancestors went out to Egypt. You know, for all the punishments came about through Adam, especially the exile Egypt, which was caused by a blemish in the covenant. As is known, this sword comes in response to the blemish of the blemish of the covenant as any sword that avenges the covenant and Edom is in charge of the sword the Egyptians afflicted us and we cried out to the Lord our God who sent an angel this refers to Moses as our sages explained he took us out sent a blemish the covenant is a blemish in Das experiential knowing as in Adam Yodo his wife he had conjugal relations with her and the voice arouses Das as in the voice arouses intention for this reason we cried out and he heard our voice yes, for the voice had aroused Das he sent an angel who was Moses, who represents Davos, and my way of Das being revealed properly, took us out for this reason. We, we recite the Gehada in a loud voice because the redemption came about through the laugh, through the voice, as in he heard our voice, as in he, he heard our voice, and, and it is called the Gehada to allude to the rectification of the covenant, as in Vayagate, he told you his covenant. Furthermore, the mitzvah of the Gehada is performed with wine to allude to the rectification of the covenant, as in wine. Wine and fragrance, make wise and tea rush, another word for wine. If one knows how to use it, one will become a rush head as a, a reference to who does. Let me pass through your land. They wanted to enter the land of Israel using the power of Edom to receive from them the power to punish the wicked with a sword and death so that they be able to follow the king's path, the king of the world, and not for earthly, pl earthly pleasures. Hence, we will not walk through a field or a vineyard, and we will not dry, drink well water and in reference to earthly pleasures that is not our desire rather we want to walk in the king's path so that the wicked will not prevent us from following the path of the king of the world but Edoim answered him do not pass through me lest I attack you with the sword this was due to the lack of holiness thus we are at Kadesh your border city that is since holiness Kedusha is at such a le low level that it is touching the border of impurity. For this reason, that reason, and I answered him, do not pass through me for someone at a low spiritual level. Should not incite the wicked, for the wicked can swallow someone more righteous than himself. They told him, we he will walk along the main highway, as in highways in their hearts, in order to intimidate them. And if we drink your water, water corresponds to judgment, as in he poured judgment like water. Since the wicked must sometimes be forced according to their own laws, we will pay their price. Translated in the Targum as money, referring to the bribe they receive, for we must give them a honey, in order that they agree to straighten out the crooked judge. Just allow me to pass through on my feet. I want to pass through with your power in order to silence the wicked so that their words not enter into my feet. A reference to the masses who are called feet is in. All the people are at your feet. He answered, don't pass through. All on account of a lack of holiness and this because one must pour out one's prayer before teaching Torah and bind oneself to the souls of the audience which causes an increase in holiness above as in the king's glory is in a multitude of people. The more they increase in holiness, the more the illumination of the and the more the illumination of Toyota, the more the angels are empowered. And the more the angels are empowered, so is one able to punish the wicked who slander. And this is the meaning of chapter 3 of the Sifrit. It's Nisa. Nine perspectifications were transmitted to the beard. This refers to the elder scholars who led the elder scholar who lectures. The nine of concepts are transmitted to and Number one, take the staff to gather the people to subdue the evil. Number three, speak to the rock with supplication. Four, in their presence. That is to bond with them. Five, to draw fiery words. Six, to draw Toyota 7 to create eight angels, 8 to receive power from Edom to subdue the enemies, and 9 to enter the land of Israel. These rectifications are transmitted to the lecturing elder. The more something is hidden and concealed, alludes to the departed soul that corresponds to Miriam. The more sublime and precious. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is found to be means that everything that was mishtaktach forgotten due to the departing of this soul is now found by way of this elder. Oh, now the nine rectifications are explained in order. The first rectification, hairs upon hairs, from in front of the orifices of the ears. Or the openings of the ears till the tips of the mouth hairs in Hebrew are sarois, alluding to Sha'are Tsinyoin as in a gates of Sion of Zion, as in the staff of Mahabai, who God sent from Sion in front of the orifice of the ears means before they heard it, before they heard if they would be capable of accepting the Torah and until the tips of the mouth refers to their opening their mouths and saying, We will do this is the meaning of your mouths preceded your ears. This second rectification from this side to the other side. Till the other side, this means subduing their evil, this extracting them from under the dominion of the forces of evil and bringing them under the dominion of holiness. This is from this side to the other side. The third rectification from, found below. The two nostrils is a path that is filled and unseen. This alludes to the chayt and the noah woes corresponding to speak to the rock which means prayer as above as in it is my praise to echtam draw out my bra- breath for you. A path that is filled, that filled as in those who fear him Lack nothing, it is filled. Fear is an aspect of prayer, as in a woman who fears God will be praised. Represented by the Chayt knows, as in he will be inspired with the fear of God. It is unseen because one must humble oneself and not ask in one's own merits, as in do not glorify yourself before the king. The fourth rectification, the sides of the face are covered on both sides, refers to binding with their souls. They cover him on all sides. The fifth rectification, protruding, protruding, and Tapuchim cheekbones as red as roses. Tapuchim alludes to the eye. Maftiche to to the miftiche openings of the heart being open. Niftachim since the mercy of the supernal heart was aroused and passionate words words a fire red as roses are inspired. The sixth the sixth rectification is one in one strand. Tough at, tough black hairs. Talin, Talion, Italian, hang down to the chest. This refers to the drawing of the Torah corresponding to Tal Talim. Locks of hanging hair as black as raven, since the Torah is till a tilim. Stacks and stacks of laws down to the chest, as in your Torah is in my innards. In one strand alludes to those who surround him are exactingly Nisara. Nisara. Nisaro, Nisaro. A Nisaro judged, since God is meticulous with the Siddiquim to a hair's breadth. And when this air's breath is blemished, they no longer have the power to draw these laws. The seventh rectification of visible lips are as red as a rose, refers to the creation of the angels, as in all their hosts were created by the breath of his mouth. As red as a rose represents the servants are flaming fire. The eighth rectification, small hairs come down the throat and cover the nape. This refers to receiving power from Edoim in order to subdue the enemies who turn their backs. Small alludes to the power of Edoim as in I have made you small among the nations coming down the throat. Alludes to the sword as in the praises of God are in their mouths and a sword in their mouths are in their throats and a sword is in, and a sword in their mouths. The praises of God are in, their, are in their throats and a sword is in their mouths. The ninth rectification, long hairs and short ones come down together. Refers to the land of Israel. Israel was apportioned among the tribes which correspond to creatures, small and large. With these, with these he is found to be mighty and strong. Because when one attains the level of land of Israel, then one is called mighty and strong. For prior to attaining the level of land of Israel, he who girds his sword to go out to battle should not boast. Like the one who returns victorious and removes it but after one is victorious then one is called a man of war this lesson was, was, was revealed on Rosh Hashanah on the verse fortunate are the people who know the blast of the shofar but we do not merit receiving the explanation of this verse in the context of this lesson in his writings also prior to revealing this lesson he had relayed an awesome story that he had seen wherever he had seen it either in a waking state or in a dream he said that this lesson or the nine rectifications of, on the nine rectifications is a commentary on that awesome 
awesome story is a, is a commentary on that awesome story that he told God willing and with his help we will yet explain these things elsewhere Chaimaran 83 Pegimol Lesson number 21, Sifrit Snisil, chapter 4, Tika is hidden and concealed. Hoizer Anpin is manifest, but not ma- manifest. When you raise the candles, Rashi comments, the priest should light the candles until the flame rises on its own. Number one, the verse says, you formed me in the, fr- in the front and in the back. There are insights that a person perceives only after many prior understandings. Such insights are called the back. There are, also in- there are also insights that a person perceives without any prior understanding. But by way of divine modification, sub above watch concepts are called the front, the face. Now the movement of the thought process in the mind causes the heart to become impassioned. For the nature of movement is to create heat. The heat thus created in the heart is proportionate to the, se- this, to the speed of the movement itself. Thought. Hence, sense of the divine unification. Oh, he springs insight to a person very swiftly without the need for prior understandings. The swiftness causes the flame to rise on its own. Oh, oh but the only way to attain this divine unification is by saying, find one's mouth, nose, eyes, and ears. They are what enlighten a person with the divine benefication. Nanach,